Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell, and today I wanted to show you this new board that I recently purchased on eBay. This is a Commodore A2620 processor accelerator board. So let's get started. The Commodore A2620 was the first processor accelerator board for the Amiga 2000 computer. It was released in 1988. Okay. Um, it has a 68020 microprocessor running at 14 megahertz. This here is the 68851 memory management unit. And this is the 68881 math coprocessor running at 14 megahertz. Um, you can use all the way up to uh, let me see. Yeah, you can use uh, floating point units up to a 68882 at up to 25 megahertz, as long as you change, uh, you know, put in a, a separate crystal right here and set the jumpers for it. Okay. Um, the boot ROMs below revision six are incompatible with Kickstart 2.0 and above. Yeah, the boot ROMs below revision 6 are incompatible with Kickstart 2.0 and above. Okay, but the Rev 6.6 .6 and Rev 7 ROMs, like what's here, uh, fixes that problem. It fixes that problem. In 68,000 fallback mode, the RAM is still available. In other words, when you hold down the two mouse buttons and you bring up your boot menu to switch from the 6020 to the 68,000 microprocessor for game compatibility, okay, um, the four megabytes of RAM are still available to the system. So that's actually nice. Um, this 4 megabytes of memory is 32-bit memory. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is that this memory, even though it's 32-bit memory for this processor, okay, for some reason, Commodore has this memory as part of the Zorl 2 bus. So it's part of that 8 megabyte limit, which I think is stupid. That is is stupid. I mean, the engineer that thought up this, I mean, thought to do that, clearly has his head up his ass. Why didn't he make it to where this memory right here, this 32-bit memory, is dedicated to this processor? And this way, you have the full eight megabytes of 16-bit fast memory still available to you on the Zero Two bus. You know, that's the way I would have done it. Okay, the memory on this board can be disabled or auto-configured by setting a jumper. Okay. Um, okay. J200, which is this jumper right here, that configures, if, if the jumper is on, then the floating point unit is running at the same speed as the 68020. 
if the jumper is off, then the floating point unit is faster than the 6020, and it will require a crystal to be soldered on here. J304, which is this jumper here, um, if the jumper is on, it auto boots the Amiga, uh, auto boots to Amiga Unix. If the jumper is off, like it is here, then the computer, auto, well, the board auto boots to Amiga OS. All right. Jumper 303, which is this jumper here. Jumper 303, 303. Um, that either disables, okay, if, if the jumper is on, it disables the memory. So you can actually put a switch on that if you ever wanted to disable the memory. Okay, you can actually put a switch on that jumper. Uh, if the jumper is off, or the switch is off, it enables the memory. Okay, so that's what J303 uh, is for. The jumper next to it is J301. And 301, okay, if the jumper is on, that means that there is four megabytes of RAM installed. If the jumper is off, that means that there is two megabytes of RAM installed. So this is your memory jumper right here. Okay, next we have J302, which is this jumper here. Okay, and J302, uh, if the jumper is on, that's for the early issue German four-layer motherboard. Amiga 2000 motherboard. If the jumper is off, that disables four layer. In other words, uh, that's for the rest of the Amiga 2000 motherboard revisions. Okay. And finally, J500, which is here. J500 sets the RAM timing. If a jumper is on, the RAM timing is set to 80 nanoseconds. If the jumper is off, then the RAM timing is set to 100 nanoseconds. So, yeah, this is the new Commodore A2620 processor accelerator board that I recently purchased on eBay. And um, it appears to be in really nice condition. I mean, almost brand new condition. It really does. And it has the full 4 megabytes of 32-bit memory. It has the Rev7 boot ROMs. That's really nice. Okay. And the reason why I chose the 6020. Um, I have 6030 and 6040 boards. But I'm installing this board into my bridge board Amiga 2000. Okay. And it's a good idea to install, if you need processor acceleration in your Amiga 2000, uh, but you want to maintain software compatibility, especially when it comes to the games, you don't want to go past a 68020. By plugging in a 68020 processor board, you actually maintain a lot of your Amiga software compatibility. You know, uh, this is especially true with your games. Okay, and if it still causes a problem, you can, you know, press the two mouse buttons to go into the early startup menu, and you can disable the 68020 processor and fall back to the 68000 uh, processor mode for those games that just will not run with the 68020, which is very few. Most of the games will run just fine. In fact, games like FA18 Interceptor will greatly benefit from the speed increase of the 6020 processor. So, yeah. Um, now, this software compatibility is only true if you keep your Kickstart 1.3 ROM. Do not upgrade it to Kickstart 2.x or 3.x. 
If you're using your Amiga 2000 mainly for games and for running your Amiga software and stuff like that, you want to keep Kickstart 1.3. Yes, you heard that right. Okay. But I also want to show you guys how to do different things in Deluxe Paint 3, like how to create gradient fill backgrounds for your tiling screens and stuff like that. Okay, with the standard 68,000 microprocessor, uh, each one of these gradient fill background screens can take up to 20 minutes to render. That's ridiculous. Whereas with the old 20 board, it'll take about five minutes to render the same screen. Of course, I'm not going to make you guys sit there and wait five minutes. I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. I'll start the process and then I'll stop the camera and I'll start recording again after it's done. Okay, this way you don't have to sit there and wait for five minutes for the screen to be rendering. But yeah, this main reason why I got this board was for my Bridgeboard Amiga. I needed to have a little bit beefier processor, a little bit faster processor for when I show you guys how to do things uh, in Deluxe Paint 3. It'll help speed up a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you how to do. So, yeah. Well, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Hans George Campbell. Till next time.